I'm Allie. And I'm Joe. And we're here from the Earth, Atmospheric, and Planetary Sciences Department at Purdue. Today, we're going to be talking to you about the importance of reducing waste and reusing things. So the average person in the U.S. generates about five pounds of waste a day. And to generate less waste, we can reuse some of the things uh, that we already have. Uh, so we can reuse things uh, like plastic bags uh, and paper bags. Um, or, you know, old containers that we already have. They can be glass or plastic. Um, I know that my, whenever I go visit my parents, they always send me home leftovers and like old sour cream containers. Uh, so they can be used as Tupperware or you can plant plants in them for plants to grow. Yeah. And so today we're going to be reusing an old t-shirt that we already have to make a t-shirt bag and so just make sure that's a t-shirt that uh, nobody is using and that you have permission uh, to uh, repurpose. So today all you really need is your old t-shirt and a pair of scissors. Always keep the point down. Um, but for this video we're also going to be using a marker so we can show you exactly where we're going to be making the cuts and it might be easier for you to use a marker as well, but that is up to you. So first, we're gonna take our marker and we're going to mark off. Yeah, we're just gonna mark off along the collar and then along each sleeve. So I'm just gonna finish making my cuts here. And then you're gonna end up with your collar and your sleeves, which you can also reuse. I don't know if you like sewing or if you know anyone that does, but these scraps can be used um, in other projects, which is pretty cool. And so once we've cut off our sleeves and our collar, it's gonna look like this. Maybe uh, a parent or guardian has some, some cut off t-shirts like this where they don't have the collar and the sleeves. Um, so after we've done that, we're going to cut off the bottom seam of the shirt like we have marked off right here. All right, so I just finished cutting off the bottom seam of my t-shirt. Yeah, and so you should end up with something that looks like this. Uh, if we turn around. And then we've already started marking down at the bottom. So yeah, so the next step, uh, you're going to want to mark vertical lines at the bottom of your shirt uh, about two or three inches tall and about one inch wide. Uh, and then we'll, yeah, and then you will cut along those lines. And it doesn't have to be exact. So if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. We're reusing. So we went ahead, because we had a logo on the front of our t-shirt, we turned it inside out. And then we went ahead and cut these strips down at the bottom like we told you about and over here on the edges of the t-shirt you can kind of see where the seam is we cut that in half as well so right along the side here of the shirt so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each of these pairs of flaps and we're going to tie them together in a double knot So that's gonna take a while. So while Joe is doing that, I can show you mine. So this is what, kind of what it would look like when you finished tying all your double knots at the bottom. And I flipped my t-shirt inside out as well. So all you have to do is flip it back right side out and you have your cool reusable bag. And you can put all sorts of things in here. You can put all the rest of your supplies. <laughs> could make that a little more. And then you can go down the street with your cute new bag. <laughs> yeah, and so, yeah, this bag can uh, be used for a lot of different things. Uh, and it can obviously be used in place of, you know, plastic grocery bags. And so, being able to reuse something like this uh, can really help uh, the environment and sort of reduce our uh, impact on it.